In this video I'll show you how to fix your LG Smart TV in case you're experiencing lag when connecting an HDMI device like a PlayStation, Nintendo Switch or whatever other things. So on the newer LG Smart TVs, the ones that are made from 2000, I would say 20 and upwards, what you need to do is to take your remote control and press the settings button right over here. It's a cogwheel. This should open a settings menu on the left side. And then what you need to do is to go down in this menu. And first, the first option here, picture mode, usually by default is standard. Click on it. And then with the right and left arrow, we can switch this and you need to leave it to game optimizer. Then press the middle button here, go down and then you should have game optimizer. Click on this and this menu will appear. First, turn on game optimizer. This is the first thing you need to do. And this will give you a brief preview of the game mode settings. But this is not it. This is not the main menu of the game mode. What you need to do now is to press again the settings button that you press previously to make everything disappear. And this will appear instead. This is game mode main menu. And when you're playing, you can make it appear and disappear using the settings button. Okay, so every time you press it, it appears. You won't have the regular settings. To get the regular settings, if you want to change something, you need to go over here in all settings. And this will make them appear. You get a few information, your FPS, uh, if AI game sound, black stabilizer, and low latency. You can change those settings by pressing the left and right arrow on your remote control. For example, over here, menu color, if you click on this, you can change how it looks. You have the choice of a few colors. If you go over here, game optimizer, you're gonna have these settings appearing. And you see there is a few of them that are grayed out. If these are grayed out, one of the reasons that this may be happening is that you're not on your HDMI port. So you need to change the input on your remote control. Uh, click on the input button and select your HDMI device. Again, Xbox, PlayStation, whatever. Mine is a Roku stick, it's here. So I'll click on it. And then launch again the settings by pressing the settings button. And this time we're going to have access to all the other set, uh, all the other options, including changing this mode over here. You see it's STD. We ch can change it to FPS, to RPG. This is the kind of game you're playing. So you can adjust it depending what kind of action you're seeing. Obviously this is not perfect because you do not see the description. So you can go now in game optimizer and you should have full access to all those settings. You see, they're not grayed out anymore. Now, if we go down game genre, we can select each of them, but this time we get a longer description. So it's easier for you to understand what you're selecting. And you have other options like reduce blue light, the light that can fatigue your eyes. Well, you can turn this on. You have actually two different levels. Many of these settings you'll have to experiment because it really depends what game you're playing and what's your general setup in the room. And this is how you'll determine which one you'll prefer or not, which settings to change or not. Make sure game dashboard is open here. This way you're going to have the game dashboard that we saw previously opening every time you press the setting button. And you also have AI game sound. I suggest you experiment. Sometimes I found that to be great. Sometimes I think it sounds better without it. It really depends on the game, honestly. You also have a picture tab there that you can select to get even more options. And you can change here the black stabilizer. So how the black parts of your screen of your game are looking. White stabilizer. So how the white parts. And you can also reset in case you have modified them and you just want to get back to how it was at the beginning. Like that. Otherwise, at any moment, if you click on the settings button, you'll have the settings dashboard appearing. 
with your basic informations.